Twilight Sparkle edits fanfictions by Sparkling Twilight. Spike's genre failure. Don't post content. Twilight Sparkle, a pretty perspicuous purple pony, shook her head. Spike, I don't think your fanfiction about the Power Ponies comic is going to be approved to be read at the annual convention. Spike, her dashingly delightful diminutive dragon, widened his sad, brotherly puppy doggish eyes. But why, Twilight? I have a list. Twilight's voice was heavy with disturbance. But I'm not sure you'll want to hear it. I do! Spike insisted. I do! He puffed out his chest. How can I improve if I don't know what I did wrong? Twilight sighed. First, look at what the official rules list indicates ponies can and cannot prepare for the fan convention. There's a list. Spike frowned. It's right here. Twilight turned around the convention's invitation ticket. On the back, in minuscule font, there was a block of text. Spike took out his trusty magnifying glass and squinted through it. Hey, the list is right here. That wasn't an ink stain. You need to check everything when reading, Spike. Sometimes twice. There can be a hidden meaning. Twilight noted. What typos? Anyway, here are the problems. Plural problems? Not just one? Spike shivered. Most definitely plural. Anyway, first, it's not clear your story is actually a story. It starts with a list. A long list. Spike spoke up. How else will we know what the villain has done or plans to do? No one wants to read 13 pages of a list except me. Which is why I read this one, but more important, it was against the rules. Spike, this isn't the recent crimes page in the full free press. The recent crimes page is misnamed Misnomer, Twilight corrected. Yeah, it isn't even half a page long on a busy week. Spike noted, not helping his argument. At least when Rainbow Dash isn't in town, Twilight muttered. Come on, Twilight, Rainbow's speeding violations only make it into the press when she hits some pony. It's not fair to keep ragging on her like that. The real criminal in Ponyville is whichever ponies shoplifting those expensive and beautiful items from sofas and quilts and our luxurious vendors. You know, Twilight noted. The skulking shoplifters' crimes tend to not occur when our friends are out of town on a friendship emergency. Oh no. Violet Hesse wrote a note to herself. You got an idea who it might be? Spike asked. Twilight thought for a moment about a dear, generous pony friend of hers who always seemed to own the newest items and everything on trend. But it couldn't be her. It shouldn't be her. Then Twilight considered another dear and kind pony friend of hers who appeared to be destitute, without any source of income, who gave all she had to help animals and woodland creatures. Oh no. Twilight didn't want to contemplate that, so she continued her critique. Leaving aside the lists, at the very end of this story, you have three pages of author's notes. Then two pages appear to be some chat you had with Derpy. That was a letter to the editor, like real comic books have. Anyways, after that you've polled Ponyville residents on what they want to see happen in your story and you included the results. The last page is a preview of issue 2. That's what comic books do, Spike insisted. But that's all against the rules. They're more like guidelines, Spike said. If those are real rules, they're stupid. Twilight put a hoof to her forehead and sighed. Let's continue. The prohibition on meta stories also may have been violated. The what? I didn't write about any meta monster. Meta stories are defined broadly as any story about the fandom and its members. I mean, I wrote about some of my friends like Derpy Pony and Golden Tassel. Are they your friends really, Spike? Or are they just some ponies whose fancies you subscribe to or who read your stories? 
Spag spattered. When you put it that way, but, but... I'm the princess of friendship, Spike. I know true friends. Her tone softened. These pen pals could become friends, but it's unlikely. She swallowed. You can't just trust any pony whose writings you read or who reads your work. Sorry. I just felt like I had to give you this advice. Maybe they're nice, but maybe they're actually some creature reaching evil tendrils from beyond the weakening doors of Tartarus and who are using fiction for dread purposes. Dread purposes! Twilight repeated the warning, her nostrils flared and eyes wide. No pony's ever done an exhaustive survey of just what is in there. Twilight hyperventilated a bit, but eventually returned to reason. Anyway, she continued. For purposes of being accepted at the convention, it doesn't matter either way since you apparently wrote your fanfiction around some sort of in-joke with them and their signs. Is it true? Yeah. Spike nodded. Well, in-jokes with little relevance to anyone outside of a small group of ponies are against the rules and the jokes weren't funny. Twilight deadpanned. Oh. Spike hung his head. Don't worry. Twilight said. At least you didn't violate this next rule. No inserting comments between the lines of any other pony's copy-pasted story. Ah, uh, Spike sputtered. Where could you possibly have done that? One of my friends, I mean pen pals, and I collaborated and that was how we made that pony's submission. We were commenting on Power Ponies Episode 9 Season 5. I better warn... Fair enough. Twilight ruffled her list. I need to get going soon. We're almost done. Okay. Spike's voice was dry. The villain's first list also includes a monologue discussing a manual on villainy. Manuals are prohibited. And the second list features a user's guide to some super weapon. User's guides aren't allowed? Exactly. Twilight bobbed her head. And finally, your lists were written in green text. No way! I crossed his arms. My ink's black! Green text doesn't have to be green, Twilight explained. And not all text that is green is prohibited. What kind of garbage is that? What does that even mean? Green text started relatively recently as a pejorative term to refer to works written by a crank pony who writes angry all caps letters in green to Princess Celestia's top royal guard Nighty, with contradictory complaints. It's jargon for bullet-pointed dialogue. Then why didn't ponies just say bullet-pointed dialogue? Do you even know what a bullet is? Twilight asked. Sure. Twilight blinked. It's comic jargon, Spike explained. Even I had to look up what a bullet was. Twilight noted. What is it? Spike asked. I know what it is, but I don't know why it's that. Something violent to do with explosions involved with fireworks. The term originates from deep in Equestria's past. Twilight pondered. Whatever it is, it means whatever this is. She showed Spike a picture of a dotted point. That's a dot, Spike noted. Indeed, Twilight nodded. A bullet is a comic synonym for a dot, Spike nodded. Bullets are dots are green text, got it? Spike nodded again. Anyway, your lists are written essentially in bullet point format and that's not allowed. Spike sighed long and hard. I guess I've got some rewriting to do. Rejected fan work in claw, he headed off. Twilight put away her list, smiling but troubled. She'd saved Spike's embarrassment of showing up at the convention with his very rules-breaking story only to have it turned down. But maybe the censors might have let it get through? She looked over the proceedings for past fanfiction conventions. They'd apparently published a manual on how to please your Karen. I suppose you wouldn't want one to turn into an angry Nyric. And how to guide on making noodles and Fluttershy's a hack and quibble pants fibs about fiction, which seemed like a meta story about members of the community. Wait! Twilight said aloud. Is Fluttershy a fanfiction writer? She shook her head. Nah, but I can see Quibblepants writing weird stories in some misguided attempt to bond with his fellow pony. 
Yeah, whichever pony wrote that probably just added Fluttershy's name for attention. But the reference merited investigation. Twilight threw aside those stories, wondering if Spike's piece would have been accepted just as the apparent rule-breaking works had been. Nah. Twilight shrugged. It wasn't good enough.